Welcome back to another video. Today we've got another guest video. Uh, Chipsy from the Hobart Discord has uh, kindly sent me some battles. He uses Shadow Abomina Snow. Um, very interesting pick. Uh, Powder Snow, Energy Ball, Weather Ball. Typical moveset. Hits like a truck. He's going to run it with Lantern, which is another interesting pick. Uh, he's running that with uh, Spark, Thunderbolt and Hydro Pump. Um, so great sort of as an anti-flyer. Um, and in the back, a little bit boring, but we've got a zoom rule, bubble, ice beam, play rough. So let's get into the games and see how we go here. Okay, seal on the lead to start with. A bit rough, gonna go straight into the lantern. Um, manages, geez, the energy generation is so quick there. Manages to get to the move before the uh, seal can get out. Looks like it was CMP and he's gonna throw the icy wind here and then probably dip out, but he's already cost himself a shield. So that was great play there. Um, Stun fist, not amazing. Um, obviously the... Uh, Electric damage is resisted, but uh, landing a hydro pump here would be pretty handy. Shields up the earthquake correctly, goes straight for the hydro. That lands, which is uh, pretty good. So he'll probably end up letting this lantern go now and maybe look to farm down with Azu or even bring the Abomin Snow back in if he wants to commit a shield. So going for the powder snow down here. Unfortunately, gets CMP'd. Shields a rock slot. No, he got away with that one. I think he might have pressed the button, but anyway, he's. Uh, Getting this one away now, and that should knock out the Stun Fisk. Bringing Toxicroak back in. Now he's gone for the Energy Ball. Now, Toxicroak's a poison type. Resists Energy Ball. Um, probably should have gone for the Ice move there. Maybe thought that Ice was resisted. But anyway, uh, still in this one. Uh, Sludge Bomb lands on the Azu. Brings in the Seal. Um, gonna throw the Play Rough here. Tough matchup, particularly once those Icy Winds start to land. But getting that Play Rough off before uh, debuff was definitely handy. All right, continuing here. Should get to the move. Does. Um, so yeah, the seal's not getting uh, too much farm. The dugong's not getting too much farm. Um, all right, this isn't looking too good. Unfortunately, this is gonna KO, I'd say. That's the end of that one. All right, into the next matchup. Uh, Mammo Swine here on the lead. That's a bit spicy. Gonna stay in here and uh, get off these uh, weather balls. Mammo is pretty fragile, so not a bad idea to stay in. Or copped a few on the Marwal before getting out there, but into the Azu now, which is a good matchup here. Power up punch, doesn't fall for the bait there. Um, he's gonna throw the Ice Beam here to chip away. It is resisted, but this plus the bubbles um, should be able to get this down pretty nicely. Um, okay, this could actually be an Iron Head maybe. Yeah, he's landed the Iron Head, but Azu, you know, absolute tank, the little Easter egg, so. Uh, can take that one, gets the other ice beam off and can potentially bubble down from here. Yep, gets the bubble down. So, looking pretty good. Um, Mamo comes back in, gets a little bit of farm, but he's got two shields here. And Mamo's pretty fragile, so come back in with a... a oh, great swap on the move there. Uh, what's he brought in? Brought in his own lantern, so almost mirror teams here. It's a bit of spice on both ends, but look, this energy ball, particularly with the shadow variant, is going to KO, I'd say. So that's the end of that. Mammo comes back in, has to throw. Um, he might even let this one go, and all he has to do here is uh, uh, land the Thunderbolt. But look, he's going for the flex. It looks like he's going the Hydro to make sure of things, and he's got two shields to buy himself time to get to that, so why not, hey? Um, stylish way to finish, and... Uh, yeah, good battle that one. Into the next battle here. Uh, what have we got on the leg? Oh, we've got a stun fisk here. Not amazing. Let's see how he plays this one out. It's interesting. I mean, there is play here. Powder Snow, um, it does okay. And as you can see there, the weather ball sort of gets it down to half. But unfortunately, on the other end, uh, we've got rock slides and one's probably just about going to finish him off. So let's see what he does. Oh, switches on the move perfectly there uh, into Azu. This will be a rock slide. Um, let's see what the... Ah, uh, he brings in a vigor off. Not exactly 100% a, um, a great counter to Azu, so that's not bad little switch there. Um, these ice beams will definitely do a fair bit of damage and the counters are resisted because of the fairy typing on Azu. So only issue we've got here is these body slams are, are extremely spammy. So as you can see, he's gonna get quite a few away here, but he gets the move. And from here, look, can't counter down, has to throw. Um, oh, he's, yeah, has to throw there. So energy's gone. Um, it's a good opportunity to come pat in with Lant and perhaps spark down, uh, get a bit of energy. And as we've seen in the previous matchup, it gets to its moves incredibly quickly here. Now, he'll try and land the Hydro. I'm sure the other player will be onto this, but look, he'll get to another Hydro fairly quickly here. Um, is it a Rock Slide? Is it an Earthquake? 
just a rock slide. Um, does neutral damage. Now, gets, oh, he's gone for the Thunderbolt here. This isn't going to KO, so is he looking to set this up for a farm down with a bomb of snow? I'm not sure, but he's going to have to shield here if he wants to keep this alive. Uh, he's let it go. Mm, a little bit of farm, but he's come straight in. He didn't want to get farm, farmed all the way there, which is a good move. He's had to shield, but, you know, look what's in the back here. Um, now, as we well know, the uh, Mandibuzz is an absolute tank and could normally take a, a few of these um, weather balls, but the Shadow variant is so strong. And look at that, just finishes off nicely. Great finisher. All right, into the next game here. Terrible matchup on the lead. Goes into Azu. That's his hard counter to uh, Marowak, so uh, he'd be hoping that he's going to stay in here, otherwise he might be in a bit of trouble. Look, looks like they are going to stay in, so he's done well. These ice beams resisted, but they're going to chip away, and that's all you can do. Chip away, the bubble damage is where it's really at here. Doesn't need to shield the Shadow Bind. His defense did fall there, which is a bit of a concern, but the Marrow is not going to be able to farm down here before he does, I don't think. Or it's going to be very tight if he can. Look, they've both done. They've both tried it on, and uh, now we've got a bit of a 50 50 on the switch here, but Gypsy's got a shield extra, so. Oh, and he's made the right call on the matchup too. Um, so he'll be able to get a couple of hydros off here. All he has to do is match shields for the time being and chip that thing down. And yeah, he's done well there. Might even let this go now. No, he doesn't let it go. But can he spark down before another rock slide? No, unfortunately not. But is it just a rock slide? That's the question. It is. So he can now spark down. So he's got some energy. Shields are matched. And it's a water type in the back. So Lantern's just licking its little... Um, little lips here and it'll just spark down from here and the opponent gives up fair enough i would have too i think we're into the next matchup got a lola molar on the lead here that's uh, incredible spice oh cops a few hits from that marwile again but gets into the azu a few marwiles crawling around at the moment um doesn't shield the power punch because it's the shadow variant it's taking heavy damage from the bubble this ice beam will uh, chip away despite being resisted uh he'll be able to bubble down here um I'm not sure what this move will be. Maybe power up punch. No, it's the iron head. But once again, uh, the little egg can take a few hits. Now he's won that match up. The Lola Mola comes back in. He's going to get the uh, play rough off here just to chip away. It is a very very bulky Pokemon, and that waterfall damage would be incredible against a G stun. So you can see why he's using it. Um, now this should be psychic, I would say. Shields that up, and uh, the switch is on here. Now he stayed in here, switched on the move. Probably a grass knot, so perfect switch there. Great work by Gypsy. Um, now, the question is, is this Abomasnow going to be able to take care of the Cresselia? Because it's going to be a very tight matchup, this one. Um, if he doesn't manage to do it, those grass knots are going to threaten on the uh, lantern. Is he going to shield this? I think he needs to. No, he doesn't. So he gets back in here. Look, he's got energy here. He's going for the hydro pump. Not sure, both removes are neutral, um, and there was probably an obvious shield there, so I would have gone for the lesser energy move, but not to worry, he's forced them into switching here, and this is perfect. So this will almost KO, he'll get the farm, and then he can come back in with the Cresselia, but it's got a lot of energy, the Cresselia, so it might even have two grass knots here, so a bit risky, and he's not going to be able to get, to, yeah, he's fallen short of the move there, so maybe throwing the Thunderbolt initially on the Cresselia might have got him uh, home. Oh, bit of lag, but nah, look, he's got it anyway. Geez, that energy generation is incredible. Um, well played, had my doubts, but he got there in the end. Um, all right, in the, oh, couldn't ask for a better lead here. They've swapped out straight away. He's gone into Azu. I probably would have gone into the Lantern there, but he, I think he was keen to get onto the switch. So we'll see if this impacts later. Um, but at the moment, I mean, Azu can still handle Skarm. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the Hydro Pump though, so it's a little bit more of an iffy matchup if you don't have the Hydro on the scum, but he's going to chip away the Ice Beams here. Um, now, does the opponent want to win switch? Because he's got the potential to here. Chips here, going to shield? I think he should. Oh, he's a flash cannon, but he's let it go. Look, probably had to, because um, he's going to lose switch there. Now, he's gone into... Oh, had the move ready. He's caught them off guard there, and he's, he's throwing the Weather Ball. And look, at that's one hit in Altaria. That's incredible. Scum comes back in, but look... At this stage, with that Altara out of the way, I don't think there's too much... Um, we'll have to see what's in the back, but the Abomas Snow is still pretty healthy. It's got some energy, and Swamp it comes in. He's thrown the, thrown the big move. Would have probably gone the bait there, but, I mean, it's I don't think it's even going to matter here. He's going to get to another energy ball. And, uh, look, 
this should, this one hit KO and probably could have killed another Swampert with it as well. So he's won that, um, and again, just totally dominant in its matchups. So verdict on the team, look, it's a hard-hitting team. It's a little bit off-meta too. I really like the Lantern. It's very interesting. It's got its strengths and weaknesses, and look, Chipsy's uh, an experienced campaigner there, and he played it well. Um, not a bad team.